Hello dear listeners, welcome back to yet another episode of the One Special Place podcast. I am your host Pratiksha Gupta and today we will be talking about a brand new concept known as paralinguistic communication. Today we'll explore how volume, tone, pitch, non-verbal cues, facial expressions and all these side aspects of the way you communicate impact your connections and understanding with your listeners. So if you're a parent who's looking for tips and better understanding of how to modify your speech, your way of speaking to connect with your children, this episode is going to add a lot of value to you. So keep listening on. Thank you so much, Pratiksha. Today, we are going to talk about parenting with superpowers. The Art of Paralinguistic Wizardry Paralinguistic Communication I know, I know, the term sounds a little bit technical. But don't worry, we are here to break it down into simple everyday terms for you. Paralinguistic Communication is all about the messages we convey through our tone, pitch, volume and other non-verbal cues. And guess what? It plays a crucial role in our parenting journey. Let's start with tone. Imagine you're telling your child a bedtime story. How do you modulate your voice can change the entire atmosphere. A soothing, gentle tone signals comfort and security, while an animated, enthusiastic tone brings excitement to the tail. That's the magic of tone in parenting. For instance, if you say, it's time for bed, with a calm and reassuring tone, it's more likely to be met with acceptance. But if you say the words, with an irritated or impatient tone like it's time for bed go to bed both of you you can probably expect some resistance for sure now let's talk about pitch pitch is the highness or lowness of your voice a higher pitch may convey enthusiasm or excitement while a lower pitch can signal seriousness or authority. Picture this. You're teaching your child how to ride a bike. If you cheer them on with a high-pitched you are doing great my dear, it can boost their confidence and motivation. On the other end, if you notice a potential danger and lower your voice to say slow down beta, it immediately grabs their attention and emphasizes caution. Volume is another vital aspect. Shouting, whispering or speaking at a normal volume can all send different messages. Let's explore volume a little bit more. Imagine you're in a busy park. And your child gets separated from you in the crowd. Instead of shouting their name in a panicked loud voice, you instead opt for a calm, controlled tone while saying their name. Your child is more likely to respond to the measured tone because it signals safety and reassurance rather than adding to the chaos with a louder voice. In this case, the volume of your voice can make all the difference in how your child perceives the situation and responds to it. Facial expressions are also a large part of paralinguistic communication. A smile, a raised eyebrow or a frown can convey emotions without a single word. Consider this scenario. Your child shows you their drawing. 
if you respond with an excited smile and say wow that's amazing they feel appreciated and encouraged to express themselves more but if you furrow your brows and say the same words a child might interpret it as a disappointment although you might be saying the same thing also remember body language is equally significant and it works both ways from you to your child and from your child to you simple gestures like a warm hug a reassuring pat on the back or even simple things such as maintaining eye contact show your child that you are there for them for example let's say your child is nervous about their first day of school a comforting hug and maintaining eye contact as you say you are going to have a fantastic day beta can ease their anxiety and boost their confidence so there you have it paralinguistic communication in parenting it's not about what you say but how you say it the tone pitch volume facial expression and body language that you use can profoundly impact your child's understanding as well as emotional well-being so before we wrap up here's a quick tip for you take a moment to reflect on how you're communicating with your child Sometimes a subtle adjustment in your tone or body language can make a world of difference in your parent child interactions. After all, it's the magic in your voice that makes all the difference, isn't it? Thank you for joining us today on the One Special Place podcast. I hope this episode has shed light on the importance of paralinguistic communication in parenting remember your nonverbal cues can be just as powerful as your words if you found this episode interesting and valuable please share it with your fellow parents and don't forget to subscribe for more insights on speech and communication Until next time keep those conversations meaningful and filled with love signing off from you your today's host ananda take care until next time